Welcome everybody to my Venetian or Venice Europa Universalis 4 and the mod I installed is uh, the Veritas at Fortitudo mod. Uh, you can find the mod, yeah, you can find the mod at Steam. It's very simple, just open Steam Workshop, just look for the most uh, popular of all time, I believe. And there you are, and just subscribe and automatically installs it and updates it for you. So. Yeah, it's very simple. So, uh, I'm gonna go f and try to completely do a, uh, a let's play of the Venetian faction. I sure as hell hope uh, this let's play will stick. But uh, I've got plenty of time. I just finished my exams. Tomor tomorrow I hear whether or not I pass. And so it's very... Uh, the anxiety is present. And yeah, so let's just start playing you now it's very very simple so first off let's try to get some rifles going because that's a new feature I suppose power projection and that gives us uh, in the beginning watch so let's see uh, due to the following factors not enough rivals minus one minus three yearly uh, with the following effects uh, if you have at least 25 power projection you gain leaders without upkeep okay so, if you can find a couple of rivals that are way too easy to uh, defeat, so for instance, Aquilia, so we already have a claim on, on them, so it's like a historical historical core or something, not really sure. And let's see, wait, let's go back to the other ones. Mm, so we now have one. Mm, that's not really good enough, and mm, let's go to the maps. Yes, so another rival could be Bosnia, uh huh, or Corinthia. Uh, let me just check one second. Province. Uh, that would be way too annoying to uh, try. Now we could make him our our rival just because. Taking a call will be difficult given how uh, the Austrian culture cannot be changed unless you completely destroy Austria, I believe. And that's not really what we'll do much. So, sure, we'll, we'll make him our rival and hope that they'll survive. And Croatia or Milan is way too big. And Hungary. Yeah, no. Uh, so, yeah, sure. Ferrara. Ferrara. Okay, there we go. So, power protection is uh, plus one now because, well, we've got three rivals and uh, we can now flock to diplomacy. We definitely want uh, the French to back us. And a couple of reasons for that is. First of all, they're not really going to drag us into wars because we're way too far for them. But we can call them into wars because uh, I believe it's either in the mod or the game itself updated completely. And we now have a trust mechanic in which you can, uh, if you uh, join a couple of times, they trust you more often and they are more likely to go the extra mile, literally, to... Uh, help you in wars and that's why France is such a beautiful ally because it's busy creating France and it's like an internal component such so as inheriting all the thrones and it has all those vassals until uh, France can inherit them and just giant manpower you can't really beat it that hard and yeah so first off with state marriage and then uh, we can Allied ally them, okay, and that's basically the only ally you want. Uh, we could also ally the Byzantine Empire or the Vizilia uh, Romayon, or you know, the Eastern Roman Empire, also referred to as. But sure, and let's see, economical power is grand, you know, Venice is known for their, yeah, Wupers trading power and. Uh, a couple of things I'd like to try to achieve is to get another trading node. So let's see. Because trade power is what we are really good at. So 
Uh, I'd like to get uh, Ling Linguria and if not, if possible, also Palermo, just because we then control a couple of uh, trading nodes and that's a very nice position to have. Um, meanwhile, we'll just try to get like a couple of, uh, yeah, we'll just try to separate Italy and then try to go up or down. It's both ways will uh, please us. But. And also, the reason why uh, France might uh, call you is, is a very simple Savoyan or Milan, Milan, or I don't know, Milan. Not really sure how to pronounce it in Dutch. Don't hate. Uh, so, this, this little province, they might uh, call you into a, a small war, but we are Venice, we should be able to, uh, to take it on. And otherwise, just sit back, relax, and take it. Okay, so economical wise, let's see, taxation is high, production is high, trade is high. We have a vessel, uh, even we even have two vessels. So, uh, Corfu and a small vessel called Ragusa, that's very nice. Um, we might want to connect. Uh, yeah, so we might want to just get like a Croatia, Croatia to uh, be gone, but. They are within a personal union of Hungary, with Hungary, and that's a problem because Hungary is way too big for us to even take. Even if we were to ask France to join, it would be just a risky business, and we don't really want that, do we? So, at some point, they'll either get separated or something happens, you know, if you grow too big in the surrounding areas, they'll try to make a small again, and it's a chance to uh, fight. Okay, so we now have, let's see... Economy, yeah, sure, army maintenance and fleet maintenance will also change. I'm not really sure whether it's the mod or the the game. Again, sorry, but I don't really do research. If I play a mod, I'm just like, oh, hey, it's a mod. Let's see how it goes. But um, it's now way more expensive to uh, to go over your, let's see, where is it? Uh, to go over your army or naval, uh, navy force limit. If you do so, it will just be a increase of... Yeah, I don't know. Exponential increase, I suppose. And let's just start it at some point because, well, don't really get why, but sure. Uh, so that's just a little note. Uh, okay, so let's see now. Trade. We've got one more uh, trader to send, and we are already collecting, I believe. Let's see, are we? We are collecting for Venice. We are transferring to Ragusa and let's see Wien or Genoa let's go to Genoa and try to uh, collect from it and now we'll also have to send like let's see five trading ships uh, zero make them one make them two okay the, the big one will go for Venice and the small one will go for okay we can't even get to Genoa just yet so both go for Venice just now, uh, perhaps we then need to change our tactics. We'll get back at the trading. I'm not really big. Uh, or I don't really get trading just yet, but we'll get there. You know, Technolog technological wise, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, let's see what do we have. A very nice leader. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, technology ideas. We already got an idea to start off with. A very nice one. You know, trade ideas. I always always get that one. And you now we can get like a mission. Uh, opens the graphical the graphic of the ideal ideas group three. Let's see. Uh, sure, no. Join the Northern League. Uh, disable cultural decisions. So these are like uh, with the mod they came. And um, we'll just close them all. Otherwise, uh, otherwise they'll just. Uh, Keep popping up when something happens when that you don't really want to happen. Uh, change our tradition. Uh, so yeah, sure, we'll get there and improve our prestige by what? At least fifty. How is it going? Uh, wait, yeah, this is prestige. Uh, sure, we don't really get anything from it. Uh, the rival of a threat. 
and Lucas and Pinion of Venice 125. Ooh, it's Luca. Okay, well, we have a new start and conquer Verona. Huh, we might even do that at some point. Next one, uh, stability and expansion. Uh, nothing to do here. Religion, nothing to convert. And the best part, perhaps, about Venice is uh, we both uh, like the Catholic uh, faith and the Orthodox faith, I believe. Or don't we? I'm not really sure. At least uh, our vessels do. That's that's my bad. Sorry. But I think we do accept other cultures. Let's see. Because there we go. We accept Slovene culture and Croatian culture and the Lombard culture is also very a uh, very nice one to have. Okay and. Yeah, so the Lombard culture is basically all of Italy and Croatia's, yeah, just, so they already give you like a small hint like, yeah, it would be easy for you to just get into Croatia and the Slov Slovene, you know, just to get uh, Crane. Okay, uh, so religion, military wise, it's, it seems okay, you know, mil medieval crossbowmen, medieval like cavalry, nothing we can change there. And then our subjects. Uh, Gusa and Corfu, you know, nothing special. So now that we've done that, we have a free advisor slot, and I might even just use that one. Uh, let's see. No, not yet. We've got way too uh, ver very stable uh, thing going here. You know, a great leader, some money, nothing we can build. So let's just start off. Welcome to Veritas at 42. Let me just... One second. There we go. So the Italian balance. Uh, sure, we got prestige powers at the bar, Barbary Coast. Yeah, sure, we'll sink them. And we've got a new vessel and it will increase... Uh, I don't know, something. Uh, welcome to Veritas at 42. Welcome to Veritas at 42. Uh, a total conversion mod uh, for Europa Universalis 4. This mod introduces a large number of en enhanced gameplay mechanics, including new research, ID groups, factions, religions, trade goods, and much more. For your benefit, Veritas at 42 provides several tutorial screens to help you guide. Okay, we now have entered uh, a royal marriage. Excellent. And we have a Colossus Belli against our rival. Okay, that's all fun and all. Uh, Salzburg. Who is Salzburg? <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, we can't yet offer our alliances, so we're just state of the world. Uh, I don't need minister capacity. Yeah, sure. So our first objective will be just, uh, just uh, to get Crane, because, well, Crane is a very simple target. And let's see. And uh, let's first increase our army by at least, you know, its maximum capacity. Let's move our army out and also give it like a military leader as well. Uh, okay, why did we get two? I'm not really sure why. And the feed has been excommunicated. Uh, sure, so they both kind of suck. So let's get that one. The Arsenal, uh, as the Arsenal of Venetian balls in the winter, the Tanakius pitch, the smear, uh, okay, what? Uh, trade ship costs, galley costs, oh, that's a very nice one to have, so. Uh, power resides where people believe it resides, okay. Uh, also, something worthy to note about Venice is, da da da, it's a most serene republic, and. That gives you uh, mandatory elections, <laughs> and uh, you can juggle around with uh, a couple of of factors. And if you lose your republican republican tradition, you become a monarch or monarchy. And at some point, you perhaps you you kind of go like, yeah, sure, fuck off with the Serene Republic because it's annoying every year. But 
that others you might feel the need to you know maintain it because it's very profitable at some point so for one you get very good leaders and for the other one you don't get the fucking uh, what's it uh, regency council you know it's oh everybody hates that i believe i think so please france become my friend okay there we go and please crane don't have another friend it's as simple as that sometimes so uh sort of cinema and suburba let's see venice gains sure and uh, you are now also allied with padua uh who yeah sure padua okay that's acceptable also something i found found is that it's really retarded to uh to get rid of your or the amount of aggressive expansion really gets to you at some point and that's really annoying okay come on you can do it no no Okay, and here we go, the election. So, the unfortunate, the unfortunate passing of Antonio Verreria or Veniro focuses on the hold of premature elections. Three primary candidates have mm, been nominated. So, you get the option hold fair elections and you get someone who doesn't even have like uh, the administrative powers, but you already have like a base power, so that's good. And we'll gain two Republican traditions, hold unfair elections, and get someone who's more balanced, or let's predecessor the side, or the predecessor. And you actually get someone who's, uh, so let's see, a 10, or an 8, or a 9. Hmm. Yeah, sure, I don't believe we need the edge, so let's just let him uh, okay and we can boost our prestige and all or just you know that have like small okay bullied okay excellent so and Luxembourg declared war on Lorraine we now have a new leader called I don't know uh, Doge Michel Barozzi Barozzi okay we now have like a little army let's move it all up and go for crane who only has those two little alliances. So if we were to declare war, France would join us. Very nice. And yeah, sure, let's declare war. <laughs> and because we weren't like dicks and just started war in the year zero, hopefully no money would give a shit and join in when well they can. So that's something I found. You know, if you... Uh, okay, so... Oh, they dishonored our call of war. Good God, there's past it's already ditches oh well as long as we stay true okay so um uh, Bridges seems to be a talented man uh, it is obvious that he wouldn't be satisfied with the weak status of his office he may decide to fa uh, the fate of the republic the doge uh, will serve the state which will gain okay or the doge will have an active role uh she'll just serve the state And uh, let's see, we are hopefully winning. And there we go, we won. And for some reason they can enter Croatia. That's not really a good sign, I believe. But sure. As soon as we get Crane, we can... Uh, uh, we can enter the war directly. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, right. Right, right, right. Our... Uh, Okay, wait. Uh, let's see. Select the big army. Well, of course, we can't enter Croatia, can we? Uh, Corfu is already joining us. It's excellent. Uh, very good. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's not really give a shit about that army. Unless, of course, they try to enter it. But it wouldn't really make uh, make a difference because uh, our war goal is the way to get Crane. If we get Crane, we win. And God of the Venezia, Padua. Okay, interesting. And there we go. Auto saving after the fifth year. Uh, yeah. So we want, of course, France back in the action. You know, we'll just be friends. To Jum, so Saint 
pro proclaim. So yet again, a state marriage, of course. Great. And we'll just have to increase uh, the general opinion of, of the French, you know. For us, not for them, because, well, those paths that just ditch us, even though it's a very simple war to get into. Unless you are at war. No, you're not even at war. Well, dick. Sure. 